Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video for this week. This is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. Now this has been a historic week and a very good week for us at Right Careers because as and when I speak, we have just crossed 2500 subscribers to our channel and on behalf of Right Careers, we would like to thank each and everybody uh, for supporting, for subscribing and also being a constant pillar of strength in making this channel uh, reach up to this level. And for people who are watching and not yet subscribed, do click on the subscription button and also the you know bell button for instant notification. But moving on to this week's topic, this is a very, very important and relevant topic for today that we have taken. Uh, the topic that we have taken for today is importance of interdisciplinary engineering programs and top three interdisciplinary skills that every engineer should have today. So that's the topic. So the topic is divided into two phases. The first phase we will see what is interdisciplinary learning in engineering space and uh, you know how can someone get benefited if you have uh, these skills, the three skills. That's something which you will see in the second phase in the same video. Moving on the first thing, introduction. Right? What is interdisciplinary learning? It's been a huge buzzword and uh, you know it's, it's used everywhere these days. You see you know, the regulatory bodies like AACT or UGC, they talk about uh, interdisciplinary learning. You see universities and colleges, be it private and public, they talk about interdisciplinary learning. Across all, not only in engineering, across all they have been talking about this word. But in specific to engineering, there have been a lot of, you know, buzzword that's happening and that's working well also. So, what is interdisciplinary learning? Is that word worth the buzz that, has, that it has created? We will see. And also, you know, with new education policy or, or NEP, National Education Policy 2020, slowly getting implemented in phases across all levels, people are now seeing or viewing interdisciplinary learning very, very seriously, right? So, we will now see what interdisciplinary learning exactly is all about. Uh, the textbook definition of interdisciplinary learning according to Webster, it says uh, involving more than two academia, right? In, when you involve more than two academia, it's called interdisciplinary learning, be it in arts, be it in science, be it in engineering, anywhere. For example, we will see straight away with an example, right? Uh, you might be a mechanical engineering student, right? Uh, all along for the last 25, 30 years where the engineering has grown like anything, students generally study mechanical engineering, but they don't get to study some other subjects other than mechanical engineering. But nowadays what has happened is with the advent of interdisciplinary learning, mechanical engineering students can also study artificial intelligence. Mechanical engineering can also study machine learning. So when you study, when you choose more than two academia, that's interdisciplinary learning and that is why interdisciplinary learning makes you, you know, highly multidimensional and therefore you become most hot property in employment market. So the example, some, some, some more examples that I can give in interdisciplinary learning. We saw about mechanical engineering. Electrical with electrical vehicles, EV is also an example. Technology with public policy is an example. Electronics communication with AI is an example. Biotechnology with business is an example. So these are some of the new age engineering programs that has emerged, you know, across the country and that's doing well. So that's interdisciplinary learning. The future of engineers will depend upon, uh, I mean, not depend upon, will be influenced by some interdisciplinary skills such as 3D printing, you know, civil engineering with 3D printing. That is going to become a, you know, it's already become the huge buzzword, next big thing in civil engineering space. So programs like this are becoming more and more trendier these days, right? The approaches such as big data or machine learning or 3D printing should be known by every engineer is what we are trying to say. Now, moving a little bit further about what exactly how in interdisciplinary engineering works is something which we will see. Now, student with multidisciplinary background, right? Multidisciplinary, it's interdisciplinary, it's multidisciplinary are most sought after by co companies these days. Now, interdisciplinary learning is, is you know, has, has got attention from many people across the recruitment uh, zone and any engineering student, right? You, you can be any branch, you can specialize in civil or computer science or electronics and communications, you are expected to be strong in your foundation, fundamentals. And the fundamentals uh, are not only strong, but also technically proficient in fundamentals. But is that enough for today? The answer is a big no. You can be strong in your tech core, you can be strong in your proficiency in, in your technical space in engineering, but whether it is enough, no. You need some other skills 
for you to make big in your career and those are the skills that we will be seeing so if you develop those skills the advantage of developing those skills is it makes you a problem solver right you you know your skills you have your skills you have your technical proficiency but you are not a problem solver and if you are not a problem solver you are not wanted in corporates you are not wanted in industry the moment you learn these skills you become problem solver and then you become a hot property in recruitment space right so some of the skills we will see what are those skills we will see but this has become very very essential is what we are trying to say now the top 3 skills that every engineer should have top 3 interdisciplinary skills we will see one by one the first skill that an interdisciplinary skill that any engineer should have is definitely software literacy now you can be any engineer you can be a civil engineer you need to have software literacy you have you can be a mechanical student you need to have that software literacy and that software literacy could be you know as simple as autocad you know or catia starting from autocad to the classic languages of c++ or visual basic or python coding you got to be proficient on some system design programs like matlab or sim process is also something an engineers are expected to know so you are not only expected to know these languages but also need to be proficient irrespective of the engineering branch that you study so the first skill is software literacy the second important skill interdisciplinary skill that any engineer should possess is automation and robotics now gone are those days you know when where we used to perceive that automation or robotics is only restricted to electronic engineering student or a mechanical engineering student no these days every engineering student should be aware of of automation and robotic processes understanding of automation and robotic system will make you from an engineer to a smart engineer so once you once you become a smart engineer you are automatically you know most wanted in industry circles for example if you are a civil engineer you got to know 3d printing if you are a chemical engineering chemical engineering student you got to know what is advanced process controllers if you are say for example biotechnology student or biotechnology student you got to know how robotics how robots operate in food industry so these are the automation and robotic skills that you got to develop as a engineer now moving on to the third important skill personally i would say is in addition to the you know software literacy and automation robotic skills you also need to have strategy and planning skill strategic skills that are required for planning you might be great at technology you might be great at your core subject but you have to be strong in managerial skills for you to grow in any company and that's where you know these days engineering students also study management as a part of their curriculum right so you got to take so those subjects seriously and you got to be familiar with the conventional management practices that happens in the industry so that's the third important skill that as an engineer you need to possess now the concluding part i would like to make is engineering education has reinvented itself beautifully it has really reinvented uh, you know it was undergoing heavy turbulence few years back but with the advent of you know interdisciplinary learning in engineering it has reinvented itself beautifully now as a student as a 11th 12th stu standard student you got to choose a branch with you know interdisciplinary learning and if you do that you as i told you you become an you don't become an engineer you become a smart engineer so the narrow verticals have now been flattened and the option is with you to choose the right engineering stream and in case you have any doubts on choosing which branch in engineering do ping us all the credentials are there you know beneath this video and uh, we will be happy to help you and until next monday with another brand new video see you all stay safe and thank you so much